Kim's Toy Trail. What I have here is um, my travel case that I have for my bar custom show horses. This is a tool trunk that we purchased at Home Depot. It's thick and sturdy and it has wheels so it can roll. Just for a size comparison, this is a Briar Winter Song. So you can see this is a pretty big trunk. I want to say these probably fit 30, 40 traditional sized horses. And the way that I pack these horses is um, with a lot of bubble wrap and pony pouches. So if you show factory finished models, you could probably fit a whole lot more in this type of bin than I am. So what we do is we line the inside of the tool chest with this foam that I purchased at Uline. You can also use um, a foam mattress pad that you can get anywhere like Walmart. And that is on the top, on the bottom, and on all sides of the trunk. Uh, if we anticipate that there will be rougher travel conditions, we also layer foam between the models, like between every layer. But uh, since we're just driving them, this is how they're packed for transit. Uh, each horse is in its own bubble bag with its name. And then most of the horses also have, here let me find a better example, a pony pouch. So inside their bubble bag, they're in a pony pouch. And then these are just layered in here. Now these trunks are pretty big. Um, you would definitely need some sort of SUV or van to transport these uh, in something this big, but I think they come in smaller sizes too. Uh, what I need to do today is I need to unpack these horses so that I can tag them and get them aired out and repacked for Briarfest. And I just thought some of you might want to see uh, what they're packed in. So I'm just giving you an idea of uh, how they're packed inside this trunk. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to stop this video and I'm going to move uh, the camera over to my little table and I will unwrap these so that you can see part of my custom collection. Okay, I am seated over at my son's play table. This is where he puts his Legos and his train and I'm sitting kind of low down, it's kind of awkward, um, but hopefully this will work. And I'm just going to unwrap my show horses for you all to see. And one of the things I try really hard to do both at shows and at home is to keep all their packaging together. And the majority of them have both um, a pony pouch of their own and then a bubble bag of their own. And both of them should have their names on them. But sometimes um, they get mixed up or I'm in a rush packing and I don't always get that label on there. So this first one is Domino. Domino... Um, is a custom by Tammy Myrold. She has been with me for several years. She is a custom Briar Gazelle and she has a weather girl head and she has a really unique braided mane. She looks to me just like a children's pony and she has shown very well as a gray pony for me. Um, she doesn't really fit any one breed to me so I just leave her as a grade pony and she has done quite well. This is still one of my favorite models. Um, these tags are left over um, from Briar West and they're also my regional tags but um, since I am packing for Briar Fest where I will have a different number I'm detagging all these horses as I go. So this one is Domino. Uh, I believe Tammy works mostly in um, pastels. Uh, this is kind of an older piece by her. It was done in 2011, uh, but you really can't tell the detailing. It's just phenomenal. Uh, I'm gonna get you a close up on her mane. I just love her little mane braids. They're so cute. And gosh, gall, I wish the lighting was better over here because she has the prettiest expression on her face. Again, this is a weather girl head. Okay, Miss Domino, we'll put you over here. Um, and if there is a video that you would like to see of a model horse in particular that you see here, please let me know um, and I can do that. As long as they're out, which they should be in the cabinets, then um, I can do a video. It's kind of hard when they're packed away, but I've been unpacking these as I said so that I can repack them for Briar Fest and I've been wanting to um, air them out since they're customs so they'll be standing out on the shelves until I pack them for Briar Fest. 
This guy's name is Maestoso Famosa. He is a lip designer stallion, and he is a um, custom briar Salonero who was resculpted by Karen Gregson, and he was painted by Karen Zorn. He was the Briar Fest 2016 overall champion in the custom division, so he is retired from Briar Fest. And, um, He's not able to show there anymore, so you will not see him at Briarfest. So this is him. Uh, he's a very difficult piece to pack. He's very heavy, uh, almost complete resculpt. Um, there's not really much of Solanero left. You can kind of see it in his face and that pretty little Roman nose that he has. That's so uh, typical of Solanero, but there's really not much left on his position and his body is completely full so he's really hefty. Uh, Karen, not Karen, yes, Karen Zorn painted him and she did uh, wonderful hair by hair detailing on him and she also did um, the typical Lipids Honor brands that you see on real Lipids Honors. Hoping this video turns out better than it's looking for me. This lighting's kind of terrible. Uh, you can see he has a brand up on his shoulder here, and he has a brand up on his other shoulder right here, and then he has a brand on his haunch, and I believe he has one on his cheek as well. I'm almost thinking this camera is doing a better job um, focusing kind of further away. So maybe I'll try to stay over in this range. And this is actually my phone. It's not ideal. We actually cannot find our camera at the moment. Or well, our camera for videos. We use a separate camera um, for uh, our picture taking. So I'm just trying to keep all my uh, packing here organized so that they're easier to pack when it's time to pack them up again. I don't know who's in here because um, the name on here I, I know does not belong to the horse that's in here. So this will be a surprise. Oh, this one's a lovely custom. Forgive me, I'm going to say Iticus, but I don't know how to pronounce his name. Uh, but that's the mold uh, that he was. And he was painted to this beautiful red dun by Melanie Miller. And he's got um, quite a bit of detailing, especially in his primitive markings. So I'll give you a close up look of that in just a minute. And I think I'm also gonna have to scooch this chair back that my son sits in because it's, um, it's killing my back. And I think I'd rather be sitting on the floor. Give me just one second, and I'll give you another uh, view of Falcon 9 to look at, just while I rearrange myself. And you can probably hear this tweet, tweet, tweeting going on in the background, and that is my bird. Her name is Itsy. She's green paralepts. She's very attached to me, and she's very temperamental. So you probably hear her chattering away. In all my videos because that's what she does okay so this guy's name is falcon nine he is a resculpted Iticus. he has um some wonderful paint detailing on his muzzle like little wrinkles and this lighting just isn't very good over here i wish it was a bit better because he has these wonderful little lip wrinkles and that's what I'm trying to get the camera to capture but um, it might not be happening. So he has a dorsal stripe, he has the lighter guard hairs on the top of his mane, he has the, um, the striping on his legs for the, the dun factors, he's a red dun and he is a Kiger Mustang. And he's got the lighter guard hairs at the base of his tail. And 
And just so you guys know, um, right before I unpacked these, I washed my hands really, really well, and that's really important, especially with custom models when you're handling them. You don't want to get um, any sort of dirt or grime or um, grease, sweat, or anything like that on them. Um, ideally, you'd probably be wearing gloves, but I don't do that because, um, well, I guess I'm just too plain lazy. <laughs> And this one is named Spartacus, and this one is actually another piece done by Melanie Miller, who also customized Falcon 9 that we just saw. We put um, foam between the legs for support while travel, because this is a really, really heavy piece. Um, I'm trying to remember which mold this was sculpted from. I want to say it's from one of the little classic um, kits. For the the briar painting can't remember offhand but he's a really cute really drastic custom and he's playing with one of those um i can't remember what they're called i want to say jolly ball but i don't think it's a jolly ball because my horse has a jolly ball and it's not big like that but maybe it is he has a lot of hair texture and he's attached to that ball um, so those front legs are very sturdy, but the ball actually makes him very, very heavy. So that's something that uh, I have to pack very carefully because um, weight on uh, any skinny parts like uh, the legs, like even his hind legs, or if he's lying on top of another model, uh, he is quite hefty. So that could cause damage to another model and you have to, I have to be very careful when I'm packing them. I was hoping you could catch this guy's snarky little expression. So cute. This little ball says 2014, so he was made in 2014, and he has this wonderful uh, texture to his coat. He's got all these little fuzzy pony hairs. And he's got little teeny weeny teeth the greatest expression on his face I love this piece and this is one that I have been having a really really hard time coming up with a breed for um, I've owned him since his artist finished him and I still have not found a breed for him so if you have any ideas uh, please feel free to let me know uh, I think for now um, we'll just go ahead and we'll break the video here and I'm going to try to set up another light because I'm not happy with um, how you're able to see these guys. You're not really seeing their detailing. So I'm going to set up a light over here and then um, if the light helps at all, then I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and show these guys to you again and if the light doesn't help, well. I guess that will just be the end of the video then. So this is Maestoso Famosa, this is Falcon 9, this is Spartacus, and this is Domino.